Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters around the world. My name is Axel Gossart and today's message is going to be about the coating of our understanding and the talk is going to be based upon Proverbs 19 verse 8. Today we're going to talk about the boat of our emotion and how our understanding and our God-given wisdom is able to protect the coating of our boat even during really strong winds. So let's read Proverbs 19, 8, which states, He who get wisdom loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will find good. In order to get a greater understanding, let's look at some definition of certain words, such as the word get, which means in a Cambridge dictionary in the United Kingdom, to obtain, buy or earn something while the word keep means to have or continue to have in your possession. Getting an understanding of the word utilize is really key in order to have a good understanding and breakdown upon what those words bring into the verse. And I believe today God really is going to be speaking about the wisdom and our understanding so that we might utilize it in periods which might be chaotic as a coating to protect us and i believe god really wants to teach us a process and also an understanding upon how to keep the understanding from the circumstances or the environment we grew up in or the action that we lived and to buy to go and get that wisdom from the same information found in our understanding and in the first verse, it is really key that God uses the word get next to the word wisdom. He says, he who gets wisdom love his own soul. And I believe what God revealed to me is that soul is just not the soul that we think of, but it's about our deepest emotion and deepest feeling. It is really about our well-being. God is saying that for you to not go through the same journey, the same process, going through the same hurt and be disappointed in the same situations over and over again. We require to go and get. So it's actually a process. God is awaiting us to go through a process in order to get the knowledge, that value from the experiences and what we've lived to turn into wisdom. Better in mind that the definition of wisdom is knowledge experiences applied for good judgment god wants us to have a good armor but now it is our responsibility to go and get it we need to dive into that forest the forest of our feeling it might be something that disappointed us or something that really hurt us before but the why it is there is because it brings value seeing a vision of god or having the vision of god is about seeing the positive in every single situations and i'm going to bring some scriptures regarding that let's read deuteronomy 8 verse 15 and 16 which says who led you through that great and terrible wilderness in which were fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty land where there was no water. Who bought water for you out of the flinty rock? Who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your father did not know, that he might humble you and that he might test you to do you good in the end? So God is clearly saying that he is able to test us he will make us go through his certain wilderness, but he will give us the ability and give us the resources to go through it. But now it is about us going to get that wisdom. God was saying that it is an active journey. It is not something that we're going to sit down. There's no point you crying over what happened to you, but it is your duty in order to go and get the value from the experience. It is for you to make that sacrifice so that you might go on that journey and find the value of the experience. Don't stay here. Stop staying here. You are a disciple. For you to be a disciple, you have to see everything that you've been through in the eyes of Jesus Christ, in the eyes of the Father. Jesus Christ himself had to go through the wilderness for 40 days. He himself had to go through the cross of the Calvary in order to bring us life. Did he 
ever sit there and cry about what happened to him no he went to see the value of it guys we need to wake up and go find the value stop sitting in your bed crying because now it's time for you to find the value and experiences that god has made you go through if you do not find those experiences you remain in the same cycle do you want to grow then go back in your past and go and find it and right now you might be thinking Axel you've been really 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 tough but this is because I love you and I will not let you go through the same cycle. God was really highlighting for us to stop being moved by the same waves all the time we need to invest in the right material and we need to go and invest in ourselves to go get that material. God was really saying that it is our laziness which is causing us to be a hurt. It is our fault. It is not God's fault. It is our fault based upon how lazy we are to not go back to where we've come from and understand what God was trying to teach us. So now, going back into our past can be something quite hard. It can be something quite painful. Hence why we require to plan it out. It is something, a journey, which requires to be planned out in order to obtain wisdom. If you just go back into it, I am sorry you probably get really hurt but if you go back with an ambition or with a goal you have a possibility and a really high chance to come out with some really good value for you to stop being moved around by what you live in right now you need to go back into your past plan out an adventure in the deepest of your feeling so that you might find the value and the right material the right coating for your boat so that it can withstand any sea. Now, this verse perfectly links to the second verse which states, He who keeps understanding will find good. This is because that wisdom comes from understanding. So for you having an understanding and keeping it, applying it for good judgment, this becomes wisdom. But you cannot obtain wisdom from the time you have not seek the understanding. God has given us a process in order to conquer any future situation which we might encounter. God is giving us a step by step upon how you can stop being heartbroken by any guy you're going out with. You can stop being heartbroken by any girls you're going out with. You stopping sleeping around with certain girls. You stop lying. You becoming a better person. You actually breaching through with your relationship with God. This is all laid out for us in front of us in the scriptures. But now will you be willing to open your mind? Because we are willing, we are one family and we require to come together and tell each other the truth. I can't lie about this kind of stuff. This is the real life. We always complain about, we always end up in the same situations. And now you're gonna tell me that guys or all men are trash, but I'm gonna tell you, is because your understanding has been narrowed and darkened. Rather than being a mind full of gold, it is something which is empty, it's an empty container. Now, if you was using the understanding, applying it into wisdom, which can bring life as wisdom was by the right hand side of God, when the earth was created, you will be able to bring life into every single one of your situations. This is why it says in the first verse, he who keeps wisdom loves his own soul because you'll be able to apply the right knowledge at the right time so that it doesn't bring death inside your inside anymore but it might bring life in your spiritual life in your marriage life in your relationship life in your financial life now it is time for you to go back inside the deep feelings within you not just to go back to say that's it i've done it i have a certificate that went back into my past but go there with a plan and we're going to highlight specific points in order to actually get the value it is a double way this is why he says he who gets wisdom love his own soul he who keeps understanding will find good we cannot think like the gentiles anymore we cannot think like the people of this world you cannot think like someone of this world because you are completely new in jesus christ this is what he says in ephesians 4 22 to 24 you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self which is being corrupted by his deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your mind and to put on the new self 
created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Now don't ask everyone why you're so stuck in the same cycle. Start looking at your past. What has God been trying to teach you? What understanding, what wisdom did you get from it? It is time for you to arise and wake up in every single areas of your life. But you have to come with a new understanding, a willingness to be broken in order to get the value. It is time for you to start that journey so that you might apply this protective coating on yourself, on your deepest feelings, on your soul so that you will never live the same experiences that you lived before but you need to forgive you need to go back and you need to arise this is like your resurrection this is you coming back up this is you going to the oh my god this is like you going back like jesus did to the tomb for three days and coming back with the keys of life with the new promise of the holy spirit this is you going back down into your darkness god has always given you the key so what are you waiting for god jesus christ went for the key in hell meaning that he has conquered anything which comes from below which means that you have the ability to find the value from the past which might seem like hell but right now you need to arise you need to stop thinking you need to go through that resurrection bit don't mind being crucified which is what god had to go through this is what jesus had to go through but now you resurrected in christ jesus now you have to go get the keys from hell go get the keys from hell jesus already given it to you now you just have to reach out and keep it stop using hell as an excuse which is not going to enable you to go forward or even break for you in your life with your relationship with god but right now you as a newborn just give yourself unto god and if you are not yet a newborn tell god father i am sorry for my sin and i come in front of you and i believe in your son jesus christ which has died resurrected conquered death and came back gave us the holy spirit so that we might abide with you oh lord i say thank you for what you've done and i accept you and i accept jesus christ as my lord and savior you need to rise stop being blocked in that container you do not belong in the tomb anymore because you have been raised from the dead because you have the spirit of jesus christ you have the spirit of the holy ghost inside of you you have the spirit of god inside of you so why would you stay where you are you have not been told to stay on earth to suffer you have not been told to stay on earth to just live as it is to just be overwhelmed by your past or just completely bashed away by the sea or bashed away by the wind of the storm but it's for you to be secured in christ which is why it says in the bible christ is our rock what he has done he has given us faith now grab that faith father god we ask you for faith in this present moment and that you might literally appeal appeal unto god so that you might understand how to go about it that you might have the right resources to go and gain what god has put in the cave for you is for you to go in and come out don't stay in why would you stay in when eternity is awaiting for you now to wrap up we are going to highlight what you need to do and what we would need to do in order to get wisdom out of our experience so the first thing first step which is go to the adventure in your deepest feeling a planned adventure i'm going to repeat a planned adventure have an aim what do you want to get out out of that experience already set your objectives before you go otherwise you might get lost second thing once the understanding or the value has been obtained we need to keep it and once you keep it once you have recorded it you need to ask god and ask yourself how can i apply it to the next situation so that it might be a good judgment and become wisdom what you have learned is just knowledge it's only stacked in your brain until you use it on earth when you use it on earth it brings life because it becomes wisdom while it is in your head and not being applied it is just an idea and information aka data god is saying that we have the solution for most of our emotional breakdown 
you can do it brother and you can do it sister not by your own might but because god will be here for you just humble yourself and planify how you can be efficient with what god has already given you because god is always trying to teach his kids and delight in the discipline of the father and do not resent his rebuke because the lord disciplines those he loves as a father the son he delights sin it might be painful it could have been a bad experience but know that god loved you and god always loved you and jesus christ is here to help you the holy spirit will guide you in order to go to the next step i truly hope you enjoyed this message if you did enjoy this message please send it around and share it with your family around the world the vision of level up is to develop disciples of jesus christ around the world we believe that our life is an extension of god's vision share it and let's rise